expecting you, Spanky. You here to see if I'm still in town? More like seeing what you left behind. Why are you still here? More on your agenda than just divorcing me? I didn't ask for a dime. You should be doing a victory dance with your new Zakarin squeeze. You know perfectly well he repulses me. And if you have any guilt at all over the way you've treated me, you'd help me. If you're looking for me to be the guy who uh, makes your new man jealous, you could forget it. For a woman who seems to want me gone, you're grabbing a straws to keep me here. You're wrong. I don't care where you go or what you do. It's a familiar refrain, wife. Oh, wrong again. Ex-wife. Old habits die hard. You were the one that decided to cut me loose. How about your children? I spoke to the boys. Do they know you're sober? They do. One of them doesn't care. The other one doesn't believe me. What about Lulu? I followed your advice. I didn't speak to her. Maybe it's better she doesn't know I'm in town. Ah, but the point is you are in town for some reason. And apparently sober, so don't you think you owe it to her to let her know at least you're trying? Trying to do what? Give her dating advice? Advice on her love life? Come on. If she wants her own in-house cop and to tread the thin blue line with him, she can do it without my approval. My, that's compassionate. I'm treating her like an adult. I don't owe anybody anything. Not even your grandson? Do you always have to bring this back to Jake? Not Jake, Aiden. Aiden? Grandparent honors on that kid go to the dragon lady. What? Do you really not know? Lucky is Aiden's biological father, not Nicholas. A DNA test proved it, a new DNA test. The point is, Luke, you have a grandson, your own flesh and blood, and an opportunity to have a relationship with him. You think I wrote the words with those stones? The mind plays tricks. <laughs> Why would I try to convince myself to go home? Why did you convince yourself to come to Ireland in the first place? Guilt? No, absolution. There's only two places to find that. God and yourself. And I'm thinking you don't believe in either. Have you ever used the well? If I told you, it's... You'd say I was a fool. After everything I've been seeing and hearing, I'm in no position to judge. My husband. My Jamie. He died way too young. Heart that big was never meant to last. Jamie had his roots in this village. He brought me here. And we opened this in. And when he got sick, he told me that if he died while I was away, he'd come back one more time to tell me he loved me. He told me to use the well. I only drifted off for a moment. I barely turned my head. I'm sorry. So you went to the well, you waited. I'm still waiting. 23 years now. Why, why do you still believe after waiting all this time? Because I haven't got my husband's message yet. But you, you got yours. How long has Lucky known that Aiden was his kid? I don't know, maybe a few months. Nobody thought to tell me? Well, we'd have to find you first, wouldn't we? I've been back for weeks. Well, there was the Helena piece. You were hanging out with her. We assumed you knew. I got no use for a grandchild. Oh, what a nice choice of words. Well, what the hell am I supposed to do with this kid? Teach him to ride a bike? Crack a safe? I already did that with Lucky. Just be present. Here, here's an idea. Why don't you come up with a fiction? Tell him that his grandpa is in Tierra del Fuego riding llamas. He'd be better off if I were in Tierra del Fuego. This isn't about what's good for Aiden. This is about you, like always. What's the matter with you, Tracy? What's happened? You used to be so much fun. Oh, 
Well, maybe you were just viewing me through an alcoholic haze. Not that this is much of an improvement because you're still no use to anybody. Used to anybody? Why is everybody in my life so needy? What do they need me to do? Why did you come back? I'm not a missionary. It's not my job to save people. You're a parent, Luke. Your family's falling apart at the seams. Well, so much for your claim that everybody's doing fine without me. <sighs> Luke, your children love you, whether you want them to or not. Break out the violin. Responsibility is not a four-letter word. You owe them support and guidance. I owe nothing to nobody. My life is my own. Not even your grandson? Here we go again. Back to Jake. Round and round. Round and round. Well, it's the funny thing about merry-go-rounds. You always end up where you start. This is not a merry-go-round. This is bumper cars. Enjoy the ride. This is where I get off.